Hey everyone, this is Unit 1, Module 2, Session 1, Homework. As always, make sure that you try some of the problems first, or if you get stuck, um, press play, watch one or two, and then try to pause it and try some on your own again, and just refer back to this to check your answers. But you can always use it, obviously, to um, help you out. But try as much on your own as you can, and you can always bring questions back to me. All right, let's get started. So back to Brad, and um, he's packaging those baseballs. And so we're going to use the one by one. So my pen works. There it goes. We're going to use the one by one by one cube that's going to hold each ball. Okay. You can draw sketches. I'm going to mainly do um, just the math on here, but you can definitely um, do whatever you need to do to um, help you solve these problems. All right, so how many baseballs fit in a box that has dimensions of three by five by two? So I might actually draw this one. So the three by five by two, remember the three by five is the base. So we'll go, um, I'm gonna try and draw this. Three by five. See if I did it. I'm gonna call this the three, the five, and the two. Just because I drew the, front of it longer. I could have drawn it a little bit deeper. Um, but the three times five is the base and there's two layers of that. Okay. Um, in fact, let's just try and bear with me when I draw the two layer. Oh, that was kind of bad. And then we'll have the five. Oops. We'll make our three here. That got long. Getting carried away. Maybe I shouldn't have done this one. One, two, three, four, like this. And you can kind of count them, but my picture isn't great. There you go. You could count the cubes and imagine that the back is the same as the front. Sorry about the drawing. Not quite as good as the um, computer generated one, but that's okay. So how many baseballs? That's what we're trying to get to. Um, so we're just going to do the math. And so those are multiplication signs there. So we're going to multiply uh, three times five is 15. If I multiply that by two, that would be 30. So 30 baseballs. I apologize for the writing with this, this pen. Sometimes I do pretty good, but sometimes I try and make it too small. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, how many baseballs would fit in boxes dimensions of two by four by five? And I remember the last homework that we had, we could actually change the order of these. So I could actually multiply two times five and make 10. And then it's just, 10 times four. I'm gonna go the order they give me. Two times four is eight times five is 40. 40 baseballs. Make sure you're paying attention to me because every once in a while I get a little crazy and make a mistake, which is totally fine. And I'd love for you to, to let me know if, I, if you do find a mistake. Um, how many baseballs would fit in a box that has dimensions a four by three by six. And then they change the base on us. Maybe they change the order of it, which is totally okay. And we can do it in any order anyways. Um, but maybe try this one on your own, pause it, try it. And then I'm gonna keep going, but then you just press play to keep me going, right? So I'm gonna do the parentheses first, just because they're there. Four, now I have four times 18. Um, and if I wanna do four times 18, I'm trying to think of this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna break that up. I can do four times 20. And subtract two fours, or I'm gonna actually break this into. I've talked about this a little bit in class. Um, four times ten, and I'm gonna add to that uh, four times eight. Try that. I'm gonna keep going. You can pause it always. Uh, Forty plus, because I know my four times eight is thirty-two, so I believe that is seventy-two. So I'm gonna put up here 72 baseballs. Oops. Well, that is something going on with the pen. That's not good. Hopefully that doesn't ha keep happening. I apologize for that line just taking off. Okay, so now they wanna know how many fit in this box. So we just have to really find the dimensions. It looks like there's two here, and then there's two here. And going um, up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so there's six going up for the height. 
So it's 2 times 2 times 6. Let's just do, I'll call that the base, uh, 4 times 6, and then that would be 24 baseballs. All right, let's keep going. Let me change the color. Let's change it to uh, green. What do you think? Um, how many baseballs fit in this box? So let's count the base. One, two, three, four, five. There's five here. Oh, too close to the bottom. And then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, a square base. And then one, two, three. And remember, we count that bottom one still. So it's four. So four there. Make sure you, do you understand why there's four there? That whole height is four. It looks like we're counting that box, tw that box twice in the back, but we're counting it for the front um, or the side, and then we're counting it for up and down. So let's do this. Um, five times five times four. There's the base, that's 25 times four. Well, if I had four quarters, that'd be 100, right? So 100 baseballs. All right, let's keep going. We have one more of these. There it is. All right, let's count it. Try this one. If you haven't tried it on your own, try it on your own. Okay, pause it and then try it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got an eight here. I got two there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, eight times two times six. Uh, let's make that the base. That's 16 times 6. And I don't know that one off the top of my head, but I do know. Remember, I could do this. I could turn this into um, 10 times 6 plus uh, 6 times 6. And I did that because I changed this 16 right there. I turned it into 10 plus 6. Here's a 10 and this 6. And I multiplied both those by the other 6. Um, that becomes 60, and that is 36, 96 baseballs. See if I can fit this on there. It's going to get really stuffy or tight in there. Okay, all right. Now, I like this next problem quite a lot. We'll see if this makes sense for you. I'm just using black ink now. Uh, Brad is hoping the, to package exactly 48 baseballs together. He sees the side of a box in his storeroom that is 2 by 3. What is he hoping the other dimension is? So think about this. We've been multiplying three numbers together, uh, length, width, and height. They're giving us two. We don't know if it's length, and width, or height, but it doesn't matter. So it should be, we need 48 baseballs. So two times three times something equals 48. Okay, think about how you're going to solve that. So I'm going to first figure out what this is. This is six. So six times something equals 48. And then I just think about my facts, right? Uh, it's not 10, that'd be 60. Um, six times eight happens to be, six times eight happens to be 48. So my other dimension, what do you hope the other dimension is? You hope it's gonna be eight, is my answer. Same concept, let's do the next one, okay? All right, Brad is hoping the package is actually 64. The side of the, the, the box is four by two. So four times two times something equals 64 baseball, 64. I know this is eight. Eight times something equals 64. Uh, think about it for a second. Don't pause it if you're thinking. Okay, what is it times eight that equals 64? I believe my answer is eight another answer of eight okay the challenge i'm gonna i'm gonna give some hints i'm not gonna explain it completely i might just prove that it's true and i might not um tell us why so harris said that 15 times 9 is equivalent also meaning equal to equivalent uh, 45 times 3 because you can multiply one dimension by 3 and divide the other dimension by 3 his partner said that only works when you double one number and half the other. Uh, who is right? So we've been working on that doubling and halving. So can you triple and then divide by or find a third? 
So he's saying, Harris is saying 15 times 9 is the same as 45 times 3. Okay, and then he's using this um, multiply by 3 and divide by 3 as his reasoning. Um, I will tell you 15 times 9. Well, let's figure out 15 times 9. I'm going to go blue over here. 15, I'm going to go 15 times 10, though. And I'm going to subtract um, 15 times 1, right? Because I have 10, 9, 10, 15s, but I only want 9. So 150 minus 15. And then 45 times 3, I'm going to do something different over here. I'm going to do um, 40 times 3 plus uh, 5 times 3. So I'm just going to prove it's equal to each other. You're going to have to tell me why it works when they multiply by 3 and divide by 3. Okay. Or which ones they multiplied by 3 and which ones they divided by 3. So 40 times 3 over here is 120. And 15 times 3 is 15. So that's 135. So is this. So we know it's true. Your job now is to figure out why that's true. Okay, and or which dimensions they multiplied by three and divided by three. Thanks for watching. Make sure you bring in any questions you have. And uh, yeah, thanks again. All right.